I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to another player review. I didn't think I was going to do this, but something screamed Peter Crouch at me and I thought, you know what, let's give it a go. I would love to have Peter Crouch back in this game. Uh, Ilicic isn't Peter Crouch, uh, not in the slightest. He's not anywhere near as tall, uh, doesn't feel like him in game necessarily, but I thought, you know what, it's the closest thing I'm going to get, so let's just give it a try. 6-3, 4 star, 4 star, medium, medium, high and average which is a bit weird. You'd think he'd be maybe high and lean, uh, but he's not. So in terms of the in-game stats, 91 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, uh, 95 positioning, 93 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots. Can uh, actually testament to that as well. His long shots are very good. Not that I get that many with him uh, or with any striker in particular because they're just so far forward and you know they're getting behind and on all the rest of it so they're never really on the edge of the area to shoot unless they are on a breakaway and with Ilicic that actually is a thing that you need because when on a breakaway you get caught for kind of obvious reasons really so yeah nice to have uh, 99 short passing 99 vision with great free kick accuracy you may or may not see that in the review 94 crossing as well as not i mean in terms of like curve obviously very good passing across the board actually is some of the highest you'll find on any card you could argue that maybe you'd want to play him as a cam and i i dabbled in it i did uh, i i sort of switched in between cam and um and striker obviously but Interestingly enough, and it's because this game is broken, uh, interestingly enough, you might even be, I didn't do this, but you might be able to get away with popping him, uh, popping a backbone on him or something and sticking him in, in centre mid, not CDM, but just centre mid, 4-2-3-1 players. You'll know what I mean. You don't necessarily need those CMs to be able to, to tackle. I mean, you do, but at the same time, you can get away with just having a body there. So I, uh, maybe I will try that, actually. I think he's cheap enough that I can, I'll keep him for another day uh, just before the upgrade. Actually, that'll be tonight for you. I'm actually recording this on Sunday evening. But um, yeah, I, I think maybe I'll give him a go there because with this game and the way that it works, you don't actually have to have someone who can defend in defense believe it or not you just need a body in the way who you can kind of maybe jockey with a little bit here or there who can pass out from the back and then of course if he does get through on goal he's going to be a monster so I, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say go and do it but I would definitely be up for trying it now without a chem style he is actually a 96 rated cam and center forward if you give him any chem style whatsoever he goes up to a 97 I'm not sure yeah sniper you can give him a 98 rated cam it, it, it kind of depends on what you want from the card as to which chem style you'd, you'd want to give him, really. Because in an ideal world, what you'd like to do, or what I would like to do, is bump up the pace, bump up the dribbling, and maybe then try and give him some sort of pass... Uh, sorry, shooting. Because the passing is 99.99. And I say that, obviously, for short passing, and I say that for vision when I say 99.99. So you don't really... You don't need to improve that at all. You don't need his long passing to be 99. There's just no need for it. So an engine is a chem style that screams use me because his finishing, realistically, should be good enough. Now, if you are the kind of guy who likes to go on to footbin, pick up a chem style and see which one gives him the highest rated, you'll go with the sniper because you get a 98 rated card. But if you look at it from an in-game stat point of view, you'll look at that engine and you'll think, right, actually, I might be able to get away with this. You do actually take the long passing up to 95, ironically, but you do get a 5 acceleration, 5 sprint speed, which boosts the balance reactions and agility up as well so you get 80 plus for all of those 99 reactions 86 agility much better on the eye more than anything else uh, where, whether it'll feel much better in game is kind of it's, it's it's almost negligible really because the game is so geared towards five foot nine players with 99 99 in terms of agility and balance and pace that anyone who isn't 5'9 with 99 everything is going to feel like a bit of a tank, to be fair. So it depends on whether you hit the game with good good gameplay, nearly fell over my words, or bad gameplay, really, as to whether you're going to get that degree of movement and improvement with that chem style. Now, 
let's have a bit of a sandwich, shall we? I like these. So, uh, first of which, what I mean by that is, I'll give him a little compliment. So, what I liked about him, the 4-star, four 4-star four star on this type of player is almost unprecedented. Someone who's 6-3 with 99 dribbling and ball control and reactions with the chem style and 4-star, four 4-star, four star, you just don't ever really see it. You don't get it. So, to have the ability to play the ball with either foot, do the odd four-star skill move. I tried my very best, and there may or may not be clips of it because I haven't edited the clips together yet. There, there may or may not be clips of me trying to dance through people. I tried to do it. It's difficult to do it with a player of this stature and lack of agility and, and movement, really, because even though we've bumped the agility up to 86 and we've bumped the, the balance up to 80, he still feels quite stiff to move. And in certain degrees of gameplay, he will feel very, very heavy, unfortunately. But we're not at that part of the sandwich yet, because that is going to be the filling. The the, the first piece of bread uh, uh, is going to be a case of... Um, I like this finishing. He's very good in front of goal. His shot power in particular is very nice. His accuracy is very good. His positioning is really good. It's a It's a thick piece of bread this very very good player in front of goal if you literally play some really stupidly basic football and you try and ignore him really allow him to hold up the ball and use everyone else to get into the penalty area if you get down the wings for example and then drag it back bang Ilicic is there and he will put that ball in the back of the net very very good player however the, the negative filling of this, we've already mentioned it, it's just mobility, it's all it comes down to. And that is the really irritating thing about FIFA, that, well this iteration of FIFA, but also, therefore, this card. He feels good everywhere. Everything about this card is brilliant, except his left stick dribble. Now, it's not all the time, as I say, it depends on what degree of gameplay you're in. You know, some people will say, oh, I have bad gameplay there. What that means, of course, is that it's just not responsive or you've got some sort of... It, it's almost like you've got a drag on your players. It's, it's like you've got a toddler hanging on the back of the shirt of one of your players. Like, they can still run, and they can still do things, but because he's there pulling, you know, come play with me, you can't move properly. You can't turn around as quick as what you'd like to. It is irritating, and, and that does... Really, it doesn't ruin the card, because there are several cards in this game where that is a problem but it definitely makes it less fun. If you've used any version of Ilicic, whether it be the 91, the 90, 89, and all the way down to the 84, you'll know exactly what I mean, because unfortunately, from the 91 to the 96, they've only improved the agility by two and the balance by two. That, in my opinion, is, for lack of a better word, it's pathetic. Why they couldn't have just given him, I don't know, anywhere between 5 and 10 boost on on that is beyond me. I, just, I really, I don't understand the the lack of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just the, just the lack of increase in the stats. Like, why not? Why, why be so stingy with it? it? It literally makes no difference to you whether you give him 10 balance, 10 agility or not. Then at least it's going to make him a little bit more usable than what he is. The medium medium work rates didn't really bother me too much. Uh, like if you tell like someone with a medium medium work rate is, uh, it, it, I mean as a centre mid it's it's pretty good actually. That would work quite well. Another reason why I think as a centre mid he actually wouldn't be that bad. But uh, as a striker, if you tell him to get in behind and stay forward, they override work rates. It's just a thing. It just happens all the time. So I, I would never be worried about him being out of position. The 95 positioning really does help him as well. So he's more or less always in the right place at the right time. I, I, to be fair, right, I like him. I think he's really good. And with or without an engine, and, and wherever you decide to play him, if you're looking for a player to have fun with using rivals, you don't mind picking up the odd defeat here or there and, and you know blaming the game or not. I think you can honestly have an awful lot of fun with him, and I think he's useful. He's not a card I would necessarily recommend putting into your foot champs team and going in and, and trying to you know, finish your highest ever uh, weekend league finish or anything, because you are going to get frustrated, especially with the gameplay that you can experience on the in during the busy periods on the weekend. He's not going to feel great at all. It's going to be even worse, actually, if you're trying to play at peak times, definitely. But... The other, the flip side of that coin is, if you don't play peak times and you don't take it too seriously, you can have a lot of fun with a card who just doesn't miss the target, very good at passing, 
great free kicks. Honestly, as a centre mid, I think this guy could be very good. But even as a striker, I had a lot of fun with him. And I, I kind of hope, actually, I do pack him on one account, untradeable. Even in the guaranteed, I'd be very happy to see the Slovenian flag. I really would. And, that, and that's my that's my opinion of him. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. If you have used him, do you like him? Do you not like him? Some players just hit right, you know, and this guy does. I don't know what it is. But if you have enjoyed the review, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.